Hello to everyone. In this video, we will create uh, animated uh, card, and all elements will be editable as smart object. Let's start. Uh, I have this uh, design of this card, and. Uh, I want to create a fully editable uh, animated object uh, with all elements. Let's start. Uh, first of all, we need to create a video timeline. Uh, animator 3.0 work with any frame rate, but I prefer uh, use uh, 30 frames per second. Cool. Um, in future, uh, in this uh, text area will be more words than I have now. Uh, there is why I will create a uh, solid. And in future, this area will be fully editable as smart object. Uh, duplicate, uh, create a uh, second text area. Uh, after all, we need create for our background text. We will add a mask a little bit later. Let's change the color and oops uh, cool uh, as you can remember uh, before we start we need to convert all uh, of our layers to the smart object Sorry. Let's do it. And of course, my background card with a uh, color gradient. Uh, I will use cubic easing function with in out uh, 20 frame duration uh, move animation and I selected uh, up direction. Cool, let's start with our animation. Let's read intro and click outer at the same direction. Cool, uh, after all. Create selection rectangle, go to modify, expand one pixels by uh, enough, and create a mask. And as you can see, we have like a title animation with intro and outro uh, animation. Cool. All the same steps we need to apply to another smart object. Let's create text two. Click intro and outro. Let's apply a mask. If I expand one pixel, click cool. We have two animated elements. Let's uh, create a sum offset. Uh, go next. Uh, let's uh, add the animation for two background texts. And in this case, I want to use uh, down direction. Let's check how many pixels I need to use. Uh, 200. 
let's click intro and outro and add the mask select expand one pixels cool uh, all the same steps for the second text area intro and outro Uh, finally, we need to uh, create uh, animation for our background main design card. Uh, maybe a little bit increase our frame duration to 30 frames and uh, we will use 400 pixels. Let's create the intro. Oops, sorry, I want to use up direction, uh, but I uh, used down. Let's change, go to track, delete all the frames and repeat again. Cool, and outro. But uh, for this layer, uh, I want to create uh, opacity animation and to zero. Cool. And now we need to drag our tracks uh, to check our animation. Let's do it. Cool. And maybe a little bit early. Maybe early. And now we need uh, to uh, add our uh, for our background uh, text uh, mask of our background uh, card with round corners. Uh, for this, uh, select mask, uh, hold command, click, uh, go to select. Modify, oops, sorry, inverse, and fill with a black color. Cool, and repeat for the second layer. Select inverse. Cool. Uh, let's increase our animation for card. Cool. We have all animated layers. Uh, go to the inside and turn off our background rectangle. And let's see the whole animation with all texts.
cool uh, maybe uh, 400 is too much uh, there is why uh, I can rebuild my intro in and outro uh, let's reset all keyframes uh, select our background image let's uh, select 200 and uh, change direction uh, sorry to up and let's create a new animation uh, yep and outro let's add opacity keyframes let's check maybe we need to start early Cool. And now uh, we need to create, uh, like in Adobe After Effects, pre-compose uh, scene. For this, uh, we need to create background image. Select all layers and convert into smart object. Let's rename pre compose layer. Cool. Let's add some perspective for our layer. Go to transform mode and select skew. Go to the inside, turn off our background layer, click save. Let's see our animation. Cool. And now we can change all text on this card. Uh, let's try. Fully editable. Click save. Uh, and, uh, animated card design. Turn off background, click save, click save, close smart object and as you can see I have animation with uh, updated text layers. Let's add some layers. this and let's 
check. Cool. Uh, very cool feature if you want to create uh, a three separately editable smart object uh, just uh, select your smart object click on settings and new smart object via copy and uh, in this case it will be uh, two separately animated object. Uh, we will uh, they uh, not link it, and let's uh, just ch made some changes. Uh, click save. Cool. Okay, uh, that's all I wanted to show you how to create uh, editable animated objects. Uh, I think uh, this video will be very helpful for you and you will be able to create animated ready skin, uh, animated mockups, animated logos, anyway, it's very useful for you. Okay, thanks for watching and enjoy!